Hello, welcome to how to solve this logarithmic equation. 27 to the power log x plus 3 to the power log x is equal to 68. First of all, we suppose that this power log of x is equal to m. Let log of x is equal to m. Then this equation becomes 27 to the power m plus 3 to the power m is equal to 68. Next, this 27 can be written as 3 to the power 3 to the whole power this power m plus 3 to the power m is equal to 68. Next, there is a rule of exponents that a to the power m to the whole power n is equal to a to the power n to the whole power m. According to this rule, we can replace these two powers. We can write this power m inside the brackets and this power 3 outside the brackets. Like this, 3 to the power m to the whole power 3 plus 3 to the power m is equal to 68. Now we can see here 3 to the power m and here 3 to the power m. So, we suppose that 3 to the power m is equal to y. Let 3 to the power m is equal to y. Then this equation becomes y to the power 3 plus y is equal to 68. Next, we factorize both sides. From y cube plus y, we can take y as common and in bracket we have when we divide this y cube by this y we get y square this plus comes here and when we divide this y by this y we get here 1 is equal to and this 68 can be factored as 1 times 68 2 times 34 4 times 17 17 times 4 and so on now from these pairs we select the pair where one factor is one more than the square of the other factor. You can see here in this pair this factor 17 is one more than the square of this factor 4 because square of 4 is 16 and 17 is one more than 16. So we select this pair 4 times 17. Next y times y square plus 1 is equal to 4 times this 17 can be written as 16 plus 1. Next y times y square plus 1 is equal to 4 times this 16 can be written as 4 square plus 1. Now from here you can see that at left side y times y square plus 1 and at right side 4 times 4 square plus 1. So it is obvious that y is equal to 4. Now recall that we have supposed 3 raised to power m is equal to y. We have supposed 3 raised to power m is equal to y. In this equation we put the value of y 4. 3 raised to power m is equal to the value of y is 4. Next we take log on both sides. At left side log of 3 raised to power m is equal to log of 4. Next there is a law of logarithms that log of a to the power n is equal to n times log of a. According to this rule, this power m comes here. m times log of 3 is equal to log of 4. Next, we divide both sides by log of 3. At left side divided by log of 3 and at right side divided by log of 3 this log of 3 is cancelled with this log of 3 and here left 
m is equal to log of 4 divided by log of 3 and there is a law of logarithms that log of a over log of b is equal to log of a to the base b. According to this rule, we can write this log of 4 over log of 3 as m is equal to log of 4 to the base 3. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed log of x is equal to m. We have supposed first log of x is equal to m. So, in this equation, we put the value of m log of x. Log of x is equal to log of 4 to the base 3. Now, at right side, this log has base 3, but at left side, the common log has base 10. So, to eliminate this log to the base 10, we introduce here the base 10 on both sides. Like this, base 10 raised to power log of x to the base 10 is equal to base 10 raised to power log of 4 to the base 3. Now, there is a law of logarithms that b raised to power log of a to the base b is equal to a. According to this rule, this 10 raised to power log of x to the base 10 is equal to x is equal to 10 raised to power log of 4 to the base 3. Next, x is equal to 10 raised to power log to the base 3 of this 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 2. Next, x is equal to according to the law of logarithms that log of a to the power n is equal to n times log of a. This power 2 comes here like this 10 raised to power 2 times log of 2 to the base 3. Next, x is equal to, now according to the rule of exponents that a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m to the whole power n. According to this rule, we can write this power 2 inside the brackets and this power log of 2 to the base 3 outside the brackets like this 10 raised to power 2 to the whole power log of 2 to the base 3. x is equal to square of 10 is 100 and this power log of 2 to the base 3. So, this is the final value of x.